All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. And guys, I got some awesome prejudging footage from last night's Mr. Olympia contest. And guys, don't think I'm a hater. But in my opinion, except Hadi Chopin and Nick Walker, they all looked out of condition. Even last year's Mr. Olympia winner, Big Rammy, was off. He didn't look anything like he did last year. That's for damn sure. And people always say, Mikey, why don't you cover, you know, the newer bodybuilding stuff instead of the older bodybuilding stuff. Because the newer bodybuilding stuff fucking sucks, guys. I mean, not for nothing, this is your top six up on stage, and they all look horrible. I'm sorry they do. Hadi Chopin and Nick Walker, I think, look the best up on that stage. Other than that, everybody else looks very faded out. They all are not in condition. Maybe Nick Walker and Hadi Chopin are in condition, but Brandon Curry and Big Rammy, who they got up there as the top two, are out of condition. They really are. Big Rammy is a little bit better than he was in years past, but he wasn't better than he was last year. Brandon Curry is definitely a little bit bigger than he was last year, and he definitely looks a little bit better than he did last year, but he looks nothing like he did in 2019. That's for damn sure. So... It seems like they got Brandon Curry and Big Rammy as your top two, even though I think Hadi Chopin should be in there for first or second place. Even Nick Walker looks really good. Between him and Hadi Chopin, they both look the best in my opinion and the most ripped in my opinion. Even Hunter Labrada looked nice in condition. But as far as William Bonac, Brandon Curry, Justin Rodriguez, Rolly Winkler, Ian Valerie, and even Akeem Williams... Even Big Rammy, they're all off. They were all off. Now, we have the night show tonight. So we'll see what happens after the night show. But it looks like going into it, it's going to be Big uh, B- Big Rammy. Big uh, Brandon Curry, I think, might win it all. Big Rammy might take second. Heidi Chopin, third. Nick Walker, fourth. Hunter Labrada, fifth. William Bonac, sixth. Then I would say Rolly Winkler, seventh. Ian Valerie, eighth. And Justin uh, Rodriguez, ninth. And Akeem Williams, tenth. So that's my top ten, guys. But look at Hadi Chopin's physique. And I just guarantee you, by the night show, he dries out even more. <clears throat> because Hadi Chopin always dries out a lot more at the night show. But the problem is, with the Mr. Olympia contest and the Arnold Classic competitions, prejudging counts for most of it. Okay? The night show counts, but not as much as prejudging does. So if, if, uh, Hadi Chopin comes in more diced, he should win the whole show. Because like I said, Big Rammy was off, so was William Bonac. And Brandon Curry, in my opinion, was a little off. Even though Brandon looked better than he did last year, he was still a little off. His legs were undersized, okay? He could have been more conditioned. His back, hams and glutes look pretty good, but Big Rammy definitely looks a little bit better from behind. Big Rammy is bigger. But Brandon Curry did say, though, he was going to come into this competition bigger, where he would be able to stand up next to Big Rammy and not look too small. And he really doesn't. He looks uh, pretty big. I got to say, Brandon Curry does look pretty big standing up against, you know, standing next to Big Rammy. But Big Rammy is, what, 280-something pounds here probably on stage? But I tell you guys, out of these top six right here, it's nothing special. It really isn't. And that's why a lot of people say to me, why don't you do videos, you know, more videos on guys nowadays? Which I do. I do the Arnold Classics. I do the Mr. Olympia Contest. And I usually do the New York Pro. It's because these guys are just not like guys from the 90s or the early 2000s or the 80s, the late 80s. No fucking way. They just don't have it. They just don't have it. I'm sorry. And I'm not a hater. I'm not trying to hate. But this might be one of the worst Mr. Olympia lineups I've ever seen. It really is. It might be one of the worst Mr. Olympia contests I've ever seen. And William Bonac, I thought, was going to place top three. But I was totally wrong about that. Uh, And like I said, it's going to definitely be Big Rammy, Brandon Curry, and Hadi Chopin in the top three. But I think Hadi Chopin should win the whole show because I know, like I said before, he's going to come in even more diced. But I think, now that I'm looking at it, Nick Walker might look the most diced out of everybody on that stage. And if he dials it in a little bit more, I could see Nick Walker placing in the top three. But he probably won't place in the top three. Want to know why? 
<laughs> because it's his first Mr. Olympia contest and they never let guys place well at their first Mr. Olympia contests. It's just the way it goes. Kevin Lavroni in 1992, he should have won the show, but he didn't. He placed second to Dorian Yates. 1993, Flex Wheeler could have won the whole show, but he placed second to Dorian Yates. Jay Cutler, same shit. Uh, he should have won the whole show in 2001, but placed second to Ronnie Coleman. There were a lot of instances where guys, uh, you know, competed for the first time and should have won the show, but didn't win the show and ended up placing second. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Do you agree with me? Do you think that this lineup is shit? And do you think that Hadi Chopin should place first, Brandon Curry second, and then uh, Big Ramy third. In my opinion, I think that's the way it should go. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And if you like the video, just tickle that Kevin Lavoni icon button. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out.